Hi right, everybody, welcome back to a little bit of Legend of Grimrock. Grimrock Harder. Yeah. But, uh... We've discovered this place, and the alien adventurer is taunting us. I'm the guardian of the bridge. Wake me up. Uh... Wake up. Oh, that... Okay. Did I activate that, or did that activate on its own, is the question. I'm just gonna assume I did that. And it's all my doing. Alright, well we gotta get a fruit here. I'm running out of space for food again. Oh, well, Jack's a little bit hungry. Uh, everyone can have a little bit of a munch. Except for Ken. Ken gets to starve. No, I don't know, he can have cheese. He is a rat after all. He's a rat alchemist, so... It just kind of makes sense for him to have that. Alright, well we have a gate here. I'm just assuming this is a way back from here. Uh, do we have a, a sign over there that told, tells us what this is? Nope. This is just a cat, a cave of, of some sort. Uh, meditation spire. Okay, I'd love to go to the meditation spire. Oh. Okay, we got a piece of armor there. It's kind of looking at the walls. I know it's a thing I do, but I don't know always like... Sometimes in the tile sets I don't know what the button looks like. It's always fairly obvious, but... Like, to me that kind of looks like one, but I, I'm retarded, so it's really not. Okay, so we can't really get anything there, so let's go this way. Hmm. Well, let's see what's over this way first. There's an ice man there. Okay. Hello, good sir. Okay, so. Oh. Oh, that that barely in the nick of time I got I got on top of that. A bronze brace resists shock minus twenty, but critical chance is plus three. So, you lose shock resistance, I think. Yeah, at the co uh, but you get more critical strike chance. What's uh, Jack's chance to crit? Five, okay. I've, that's actually pretty interesting. And there's a potion of resurrection. Restores dead character to full health and energy. That's a useful item to have. Unfortunately here, I don't think I have any other way back except to basically fall down. So, let's give this guy a save and do that. Oh, well, that was anticlimactic. Oh, we got some more bullets. Can't wait until I get some more firearms. Alright. You know, it must be really awkward for these four chained guys to basically go up ladders. Which they have no trouble doing. <laughs> but, I'm just saying, from a logistical perspective, it must be really awkward. Hmm. Skyway. I'm just assuming that the stuff b above me will activate, yes. Okay. Well, we got a bomb here. Usually what we want to do in cases like this, where we, we just want to replace this with crappy items that we don't want. Like these throwing knives that I've been keeping this entire time. That is the perfect thing to just drop off here. I mean, we could grab these later, but do we really need them is the question, and the answer is no. Because I'm not going to be probably using these at all. Well, this is going to be a throwing knives, like, weapon. Like, like, one where I actually throw knives. Oh, hey, zombies. Can't. You're miserable failure. There's, like, four zombies. You have to basically try really hard not to hit them. It's weird that my alchemist is the most useless to a member of this party so far. And firearms are going to turn out to be amazing. You want to try stunning? Let's try stunning. Da, da, da. Okay, it did not stun, but it does, it's not a guaranteed stun. I really like the fact that they're set on fire, and then they die later. Oh, we got a fist dagger. That sounds awfully, uh... Assassin-like. I really need to put some stakes in here. 
Got to go load this thing with, up with stakes. Mm, stakes. This is gonna be. This is gonna be my uh. My 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 keto bag. Yes, yeah, so I'll give it to myself. <laughs> Naturally. All right. Uh, what's this throwing knife? Let's see. Fist dagger. Uh, I can thrust it. Huge, powerful lunge dealing double damage with high accuracy. Okay. Wow, it does a lot of damage, actually. So if I want to do a very powerful attack... Dealing double damage with high accuracy. Nice. So I either, get a, I either can do a leech, or I can do a fit, uh, like I can do a, um, a big, big attack. Which, which really stacks well with his critical damage, because imagine if the crit procs as well. How fucking crazy would that be? Okay, we are in a completely new place here. Feeling obligated to kind of look around. Because I'd feel- I'd be really upset if I, uh, missed some secrets. Which I probably have. Well, I know I have, because, uh, Pat had to yell at me. So probably in the beginning of every episode where I start fresh, I'll, uh, navigate back to some retarded place. But, you know, these secrets really do make the game easier, I have to say that. Um, I can imagine if I had that dagger much earlier on. Why am I giving the sausages to, to Jack here? Let's just do this. Alright. Jack is not the sausage boy. He's the minotaur boy. Alright, well we can open this guy up. Oh, I see. I'm onto your tricks video games. Okay, so that does- <laughs> Here we just plop down. I, I, you, know, you know what I'm guessing? I guess we have to back down ladders. Because that makes sense to me. Alright, we can't go this way, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's no buttons on the wall. But we have opened up another passageway now. So let's go, let's go over there. And I'm going to test my theory right now about the ladders. Nope, you just plop down every time. Holy shit. Okay, I remember that attack. I fucking hate that attack so much. Basically anticipates it and and yeah, they do a lot of damage. Let's just rest and get everyone's health back up. I'm surprised that my mana goes back up faster than than Jack's health, so that's that's an interesting thing to note. Uh, if we keep doing fire damage, we will keep getting fire. Uh, basically, we'll, we'll max out fire. Like the fire damage is useful, so every level I gain more more damage. So I'm, I you know I'm I'm okay with that. Even though I don't know the the spells, though, never mind. Um, Air magic one? I need air magic? Well, uh, I now regret my decision of five seconds ago. <laughs> oh my god. I gotta wait an entire level to now, now use uh, fireball. I didn't know that it would mix the magic like that. Uh, but that's interesting to know. That's, uh, that's different. But now I know. And, oh, we have another... Oh, right, that. Oh, we're done with that already. Did we see anywhere with a key? Because I'm going to say, no, we didn't. Um. That's odd. So that's a door we haven't done. But this door... There's got to be a secret way to open this. Alternatively, it could be related to the buttons. See what this says. Skyway. Okay. Let's uh, try and pretend like. Uh, let's be more conservative with these buttons. Okay. Let's, let's only use the ones that are absolutely required to basically. Oh, but this is a this is okay. That's now we know where the key is used. Um, how do we get up there? Is the question. So now I feel obligated to. Let's try. Okay. Let's let's do this. Let's just. You know, to just to eliminate the possibilities, let's remove all the buttons. Okay, that's what I thought. Thought that had something to do with it. Uh, it was worth a try, and I tried it. Unfortunately, this means that I can't uh, do this anymore. 
However, I don't think that will matter because I have an idea of how to how to handle that. Uh, let's have a look. You you guys will love my ideas. It my ideas also involve just falling down. All right. Uh, so what we do is we take this one, we throw it. They're like, Mike, you dumbass, what have you done? That's yeah, all in due time. Drop that one. Drop that guy. Drop that guy. Drop that guy. Look at that. You guys like this? Do you like thinking outside the box? I certainly do. The box is, is a miserable place. You should not be thinking inside of it. Alright. Uh, well, let's uh, have a look around then. As I just stare at walls. You can just imagine someone just coming into this let's play in the, in the middle of it and just like, why the fuck is this guy looking at walls the entire time? It's because there's secrets there. And I'm not very good at noticing them on my own. Okay, light armor. Light armor for Pat. And Pat can now basically equip light armor, which is pretty much exactly what you expected. Uh, oh, why did I not give this to him before? He doesn't need strength. Fuck that. I'm, that was dumb of me. All right, let's give the, the evasion uh, hat to you. And peasant's cap can go to Can because he's a peasant. And now we have energy plus five with that thing. Oh, this is the energy one. I will give the energy one to you, Jack, and then, oh, no. You can have this armor. Even though it do, takes away dexterity. We'll give the dexterity one to the over here. Get rid of that. Fortunately, this means Pat is overburdened. So I gotta give a food bag to, I don't know. Should really just give the food to him overall. All right, we also have a light leather cap here. Huh. What, what are you using? Okay. So it's either yeah, we, we, we will never use this, because honestly, myself and Ken will not be using light armor. There is no point. A uh, long sword, we don't need that anymore. Just doing some inventory management here. I don't even know why I still have all these weapons here. Although this is this is still this stuff is still useful. Uh I don't know if I'm gonna need the horn of summoning. I'll keep it around just in case. We already know about the fire burst spell. And the shield potion. Oh right. Okay. So that's as much light armor as I think I'm going to be able to put on him. Uh, just the arrows, just in case. All right, we have a lot of uh, bombs here and stuff. The dagger we won't be using anymore. Neither will we be using the rapier, blowpipe. I'm, I'm just, I'm kind of holding on to that just in case. I doubt I'm going to use it, but at this point, inventory isn't really a problem. So, like, especially now, I just cleaned it out. And satisfied all your OCDs for uh, carrying this stuff around. Light utility spell. Well, we've, we already know that one, but we'll keep this scroll around just because you've seen me use the scrolls basically just to, I don't know, throw things at people or whatever. And I really need a new kind of like, a new. Oh, well, we can go down here. Alright, let's go. I got an achievement for being an explorer. See, there, there was a weed here, so it was completely worth breaking our legs for. We weren't really using those anyways. So this place, um... Uh... Doesn't appear to have a way back up. Oh, here we go. There's always a way back up. Where are we now? You see, you see that nice scroll of light spell? There we go. It serves a purpose now. I wonder why there's like lava. Are we in hell? I think we are. This explains a lot. Uh, okay. Oh, we have a staircase going back up. So that's already a good sign. We have a way out. I mean, I'm not sure why I opened this up, 
But I'm gonna take a guess that I want to open that button because I it will allow me to uh, gain access to something that another hole that I fall into. I'm guessing it's a secret for something. See, I fell into the side there, so now I get to trial and error with other buttons. All right, and this is open now too. This is also a room we haven't actually been in. Yeah, here you go. See, there's a bunch of, uh, these are go down to the teleport that we saw earlier. What purpose do they serve? Who really knows? Uh, I kind of wish I knew. Whoa. Ah, uh, I just dropped something down there. There was something definitely behind that. What? Oh, I turned around and then... What? Well, okay. Okay, pick pick a direction. Okay, go up. So... I thought I dropped something here. Okay, I may have lied to myself. Or it might be in the other direction. I don't think it would be, but... Scroll of light, you know. Actually, wait. Okay, wait. There's a button right there. Oh, wait. There's arrows here. So I did drop something. Huh. Alright, well. Let's try going back up. Actually, wait. Did I see something there? Uh, I saw a button. Alright. I really like that lo that light spell. It's amazing. This is why I save it because if I don't figure this out, I gotta I gotta leave. I have uh, another idea here. Uh, whoa! Wait! Wait! I just I I just totaled that spider. All right, let's try something here. Let's go and. Uh, Scroll of a uh, poison vulture. Oh wait. wait, 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 wait! I got, I got an idea, guys. I got an idea. I'm using that thinking brain of mine. Okay, I think what happens here is I dropped the scroll right onto that. So here's what I need to do. I need to turn that off. I'm not sure where this leads. Uh, we'll try and put a scroll there soon, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop a bunch of... Where are the rocks that Candace? Yeah, let's just drop these. Fuck these. And then, I don't know, island map, sure. And let's just drop a uh, ice shard, sure. Uh, now I'm kind of confused because actually that's supposed to teleport away. I thought apparently placing it doesn't teleport it away but uh, We've definitely figured out though that we can drop the items into that uh, a High spider. Oh that poor spider Actually, I don't feel guilty about it at all Okay, so we've opened up all these buttons Um, pressing all of it doesn't appear to actually do anything. Oh, there's a button here. Follow the light. Okay. Mike Glad is starving. Aw. I'm hungry. You're probably gonna die in this fucking cave, so eat up. Alright, so follow the light. The light is right there. Okay. Some other things we can try is darkness. Yeah, I already knew that one, actually. Okay. We just opened something up. Uh, 
Alright, we will now close this. I should, probably should... Actually, we don't need this lightning rod. Screw that. We're not using that anymore. Oh, we found a secret. There we go. It just, uh, it basically had this, this helmet here. Alright, well, that, um... That gives us the helmet, but not, uh, the way out of this place, which is what I was actually hoping for. Uh, oh wait, 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 where'd that spider go if I press that? Oh, follow the light has to mean something, so... Uh, let's just put another the island map here. And I'm gonna actually activate the porters there. And we're gonna go back up to the other floor. I was really hoping to also find, uh... The... Whatever the, the crystal was and go back to that, but... Okay. I understand what I'm supposed to do. See that spider? See that nasty, dirty spider? Uh, while I walk around here? Okay. I get it. Oh, the solution has already been done. I was like, I have to put him inside of there. Okay, so he officially is pressing the buttons now. Or that button at least. Did something open up? In, re in response to that. So that's why there's a cage of three, because if you don't get it right the first time, you will want to come back for it. I have no idea where my other items go. Here's the, here's the trouble. Um... Well, uh, let's try that follow the light thing again. Uh, it's not really a clue on what to do. So you were you're supposed to drop him in the middle, middle one. He's he's now pressing the button. Understand? Uh, which means something else opened up somewhere. I don't know what, but something did. The fact that he's on it is a big deal. Okay, here's a. One of the... I think that's the island map I dropped. Yeah, he's just, he's just stuck there now. But he should have opened something up for us, to be honest. Oh wait, there's a light. And there's our other scroll. Okay, so let's open a bunch of these then. Actually, that, that isn't our map, is it? Yeah, no, that's our map. We're gonna just drop these notes. Okay. And by doing that, that did not do it. Wait, I just, I just undid everything. Because he's back up there, motherfucker. Okay, that isn't the solution here. Okay, reset it. He's back there. Um, I think. Okay, I think there's one thing I did not do, and that was I didn't try to put items down and then leave. Like uh, I shard some. Um, I don't know if I should get rid of that one. Scroll of light. Yeah. Uh, where the hell are the other my? Uh, I had more items for this. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait. I see... Okay. It's the possessions one, and then there's this one, uh, which is uh, something about him taunting me about breaking, breaking my bones. Now, let's go back up there. And let's... Uh, I'm going to assume that the top stuff opened up now. If not, then I got to put it in the dark. Uh, uh, uh. Sweet freedom I hear. That took the entire fucking episode to, to break out of the- No, I just fucking reset it. Oh no, I didn't, because this is open still. That's okay. <laughs> uh, I thought I thought I just went on the button by accident and, and just undid everything. We haven't been here yet. Okay. 
is the Spire of Death. I think we're supposed to meditate here. Uh, I will choose not to meditate. I would really like to go back to that healing crystal, to be honest. Ah, uh, Jack Witchell's wounded. Oh god. Uh, we might actually be uh, healing you now, actually. Damn, you're tough. Let's go down. And now we're on the other side of this healing crystal, which means we can now save and get all our life back. And uh, we'll read what this is. Scroll of Darkness, we already know that one. Okay. Well, obviously, we do now. Uh, just because I kind of... I, I knew it from the last game. It's kind of the opposite of the other thing. Okay. I think we're going to actually leave it off here. Because, uh, uh, well, it's the end of the episode. So, hope you guys are enjoying. And see you next time. Bye.